My curiosity is gonna take me somewhere I don't wanna be. I mean, think about it. Who would want to recreate a button? Just, just look at this. This is just a nice piece of stone. Looks like there's nothing much going on inside it. But when you start to think about it, you start to think that, well, this thing can actually hot power blocks. And it can actually extend the redstone signal by 15. That means there must be something. There must be something we can find. There must be something we can find inside this thing. So that's why today I'm going to be trying to recreate this thing and see what I can find. Maybe the kidneys, the lungs, the... I'm starting to assume that whatever is said about it is a human too. <laughs> I actually never done this before. So I'm just going to be trying to take you through the journey of me trying to also try to teach myself how to like find stuff inside the stuff. So the first thing is first, we must first understand how does a button work. So we know that when you press the button, the redstone around it, everything around it, all the redstone wiring, the repeaters, anything around it is going to give power, including the block under it. So this block is, is hard powered and this redstone is also powered. Bear in mind that there is no such thing as hard powering redstone dust. So we well, we, all, we all know that when you press this, it's going to reach 15 blocks. So this is 15 redstone dust right here. This redstone dust here, you can take an output from this because as you can see, it, this block is hard powered. So we can take a redstone output from it. And then when we press this again, we can also take and now rest on output from the bottom because this is one block away from this block. So it's the same as this rest on that be connected to this block. So, but because, but this one doesn't work. And the reason for that is because rest on that soft power blocks. Because the rest on that is not a source. And now let's get to recreating and see what idea can we come up with. So the first thing we must work on is the animation. You may realize that when you press a button, it, it does this. It's like it's sinking. As you can see, it, it goes down or is sinking, it, but you get the idea what I'm trying to say here. And we must have that too, in order to consider our button recreated. We must have it sinking like that. And I'm thinking that we should use pistons that are already extended. So I think we might have to use slime blocks and higher blocks. With greater success come with greater problems. So as I already told you that I want to make this thing as seamless as possible. Well, we have a problem. This thing cannot be that seamless because we can still see the retraction arms of the pistons after this thing has retracted. If you stand on this side, you see that. So this block is going to go up because it's sticking to this slam block here. And the idea that I came up with is we will run a redstone dust at the bottom here. We will run a redstone dust at the bottom coming out this way because I'll put a touch here. We will be powering this redstone. And then here we we'll place a torch and then under there we we'll place a torch here. So if you place the rest on that here, we can actually see it going on. And then because this block is powered, that means we can actually also take a repeater output. Oh, finally. Hmm. Okay, I guess we must destroy these things and so that we can be able to place every torch in its rightful position. I'm done with all the painting and stuff, so I think this is the kind of idea that I have of what should this thing looks like. And as you can see, anything around it, it's, it's that. That means this button, it's, it's up. And when we press it, it must go down or sink. And to do that, we must power this redstone that's here. That's all we need to power. Just need to power this redstone that's here. And then this thing will sink. And let's just try to power it right now using a redstone block and see if we can... Uh, Okay, let's just take a redstone block where I'm gonna replace. I'll just replace that observer for now. Okay, let's just take a redstone block and see. Okay, as you can see, it sink, it goes down. But we still have a problem because this one doesn't seem to be sinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have an idea of how to make this one sink as well. So to make this thing sink, we just need to destroy this ones here. And then we need to extend the redstone here, just like this. And then destroy this block here. Place a block at right here. Then place a torch below it like this. And then place a torch here. Then place a block here. And another block right here. And then a repeater right here, like this. So there we go. We have it getting powered. And all this. Now there you go. As you can see, now it's down. So on this side, we must do the same thing. Then let's just unlock this thing and make it go up. 
just watch right there and see what happens because that's the blue one you can see it goes off when we do this again let me okay what oh there we go it goes on it goes off so when we do this the button goes down and then when we remove our hand from that it goes down one tick i say one tick because i started to realize something do you remember when at the first at the start of the video i promise you i actually showed you something where i press the button i say you, you actually have to press it once when you try to press it again nothing happens that means here a button need a one tick to work but in order for this whole thing to work we actually need huh? we need two ticks or something i've developed okay we have to actually understand how this thing's supposed to be so when we do this we must have a a little bit of constant output coming out at the back and then all of a sudden that thing fade away and i think we're going to do that by some by building something like this where okay you have to be vertical so let me just do something like this and then here we'll place a written block it's not a written block i'm just assuming that that's a written block because i'm trying to understand how am i going to make this <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. I think I'm onto something. Okay, I think we have reached success, but this thing is actually, in case of the base, this thing is not that big, but it's actually very, very tall. Just look at it. And this is where, let's see, this is where you press and everything happens. So let me just place a redstone block here so that you can get your thing happening. Okay. So the way that this works is that when you like give it a tick here, this is going to update fast because this one is on one tick delay. One tick of a second meaning, yeah, meaning one tick of a second means 0 0.1 seconds. So this this block here is going to push this thing downwards, unpowering all of this, all of this here and then powering all, all of those repeaters around this thing. And then after that happened, this one is going to come across and it's going to make this simply track so that means we have a perfect timing of a button and to make it activated just take a look at the repeaters just take a look at the repeater there as i do this so let's place this it goes on then it goes off it goes on it goes off as you can see right there we just did it we actually did recreate a button looks like it's getting dark already i'm just gonna quickly show you by placing this thing down and I actually haven't tested it yet I haven't tested it yet but hopefully it does work yep it works it works okay let's see yep it does work thank you very much guys for watching this has been hash subscribe like the video comment and tell me your ideas that I think that would be great would be cool if I make